can you just say I'm giving Mel Melanie Goddess? I am shining. I am golden. I am that bitch. I have another wig slave for you guys, and I'm so excited to show you this bomb wig on my head right now. I'm gonna show you how I install this wig. I'm gonna tell you the details about this wig. But for further ado, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'm the plug when it comes to everything affordable. I am here. I'm here for you so make sure you click that bell you can get all the notifications when I post and make sure you give this video a thumbs up because this video is about to be lit and yeah for full the zoo girl let's just see how I slate this wig so now I'm wearing a baldy cap on and let's just say as you can see my edges my hair is out um on the sides that's because um you know I messed up I don't like bringing a stocking cap right to the edge I, I don't know I just don't feel it necessary I feel like this is the main part where you need to stocking cap because that's where gonna be part of the hair and also it makes it much easier to just leave the little edges out a little bit the lace is literally green at the ends though so what I did I did the watercolor method on this wig and to make the hair black and it actually stained the lace so if you dye this wig the, la the lace is going to stain at the ends and I mean that's the part that I'm cutting off anyway but still honey the size of this wig is um a medium cap size leash the knots and I pluck the wig the wig is nice and measured on my head she's looking good honey giving you natural realness <laughs> lay the lace down you want to take a scarf and lay the hairline down just for a little bit so it can like really sink in to your scalp sink in and lay down correctly so that's what i did so i'm gonna just push it in this helps melt that lace of course we're gonna be laying the lace down again once we do the baby hairs it's time to get this lace to match my skin color darling and i'm gonna be using a um contour palette la girls colors contour palette and um as you see many many shades of brown many shades of luscious melanin and this one right here and this one right here is my skin tone mixed together so i'm gonna just take that dab 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 and then i'm gonna just dab that all in my hairline girl like to like rub the makeup in because if you don't like rub it in or blend it in it will look unnatural so just rub it in there now it's time to do the baby hairs 
finally. So I'm just gonna be pulling down some strands. Any strands that's just falling down, I'ma just take those. So I'ma just take this and make sure it's like very thin strands, okay? You don't want thick baby hairs. Now this is a new mousse I'm trying. Is the Olive Oil You Hold and Shine Wrap Set Mousse. And let's see how she works. Usually I use the um, Lotta Body Mousse, but honestly any mousse is good. But Olive Oil You is a good brand. And I'm gonna just push the hairline back this way so it won't bother me when, when I do the baby hairs and get in the way. So I'm not gonna be using the toothbrush that's made for baby hairs. I'm actually gonna be taking a regular toothbrush that I use for baby hairs because I don't know, I think I just love the way that this toothbrush lays the baby hairs much better than any other one. So. Here we go. And what I like to do is I'm going to set the baby hair. So set the baby hair with mousse and then we're going to use the gossip glue gel. give me baby hair you newborn hair realness Whew, rapunzel we can let this girl this hair is so big i forgot i had this clip in it wait for that hairline to melt hunty girl this hairline is laid she is slayed and she is ready to be styled I'm gonna style this. I'm gonna part the hair in the middle and we're gonna do a nice little fun look, something unique or whatever. Oh, guys, look at this parting though! Like, so natural. Yes, you cannot tell me that this is not my real hair honey i am Indi indian and chiricoke chiraki <laughs> like baby like huh what so that's how she looks in the middle part taking my care care wax stick and this is basically going to tame the flyaways girl we need to tame those flyaways they need to go away and our hair needs to be laid love this look guys it is so different this wig is from hysteria here and i got the kinky straight wig and 130 percent density let me tell you guys when i first got this wig the hair was so big i was like honey boo boo but honestly when you're getting a kinky straight wig unless you like really really big 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 hair you can get a higher density, but honestly, 130% is good because the hair texture is really thick itself. I washed the hair, it definitely died down a little bit. It wasn't as big and that's perfect for me. This is my first time trying kinky straight hair. 
and I am in love, okay? So as I said, I dyed this hair jet black. Jet black just looks so much better, girl. I wouldn't be, I probably wouldn't be feeling this hair if it was a natural brown, but I dyed this hair jet black and it is so good. This is a frontal wig, so ear to ear action. The fit is good. I thought this wig was gonna be too small for me, but it actually fits pretty good. They do have different cap sizes on the website and the length I have is 20 inches. So let me just stand up for you guys so you can see. So yeah, she comes up to about here, which is the perfect length for me. The perfect length for this hair texture, girl. Like, this texture is everything. The front two didn't shed. It did take the bleach very well. Even when I had the bleach on for too long, it took the bleach very well. Like, I know some front twos, like, if you don't get that bleach off the front two real quick, it's gonna start balding, okay, and shedding. Once I washed it, I had um air dried it to its... um natural texture this wig is so versatile the hair texture is so natural you can do so many styles with this wig and then and then people won't even look twice at you thinking that's a wig like is that a wig no honey this is my real hair like that's how natural looking this wig is like you can just see how natural is looking and it comes with a lot of parting like i love that i love that um, so yeah, they don't cheat you on the front two. You get a lot of parting with the front two. Let's see what other style we can do. Maybe a bun. Ooh. another style guys like how are we loving this like this is so cute so what i just did i just wrapped around the bunny baby in the bunny look bit so cute so yeah guys look how cute this style looks like what am i giving you guys like i look like i'm ready to do a melanin photo shoot like i'm a goddess like this hair just made me feel so beautiful guys it makes me just feel mm, like a queen like a goddess like a a brown chocolate sugar drop i don't know it's the best wig i got this year like no cap this is it right here like it is so gorgeous like oh my god i would literally wear this wig every day and i don't wear the same wig every day girl i literally switch it up if you're new make sure you subscribe and check out asteria hair this wig will be linked down below Go get you this wig, girl. Go slay. Go be a goddess. Go be a queen, honey, okay? Love babies, also much and slay. It's your wig fall off.